My name is Alan, and on behalf of Wisconsin and my co-host and the crew of the show, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. Uh, tonight should be, again, quite a show. I say that every week, so, uh, <laughs> but we really try to put together a show, and, and tonight I think we really have put together a really amazing show. I mean, we have some, I would say, sublime pictures uh, that uh, our guest Sue Halstenberg has, has, has painted and has, has done in pastels and uh, just very beautiful, inspiring works. And then we have, uh, I would say, just roar and primal music uh, with didgeridoos and incredible music by the music group uh, In Lakesh, which is made up of, uh, of Tanya Gerard and Rob Thomas. So, so they're going to be with us tonight. So we have some incredible art. Well, hopefully we'll have you know, some incredible uh, talking to the artists and and some incredible music. So, you know, please stay with us. I think you'll have a really uh, an incredible experience. So as we usually do at this time uh, to set the tone for the show, uh, we have a short uh, invocation and a meditation with uh, Wistancia. So, Wistancia. Thank you, Alan. That was three Incredibles, by the way. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do exciting. I stayed off exciting this show. I went to incredible. I always pick one word a show and just use it to death. So today could be incredible. But I hope it is an incredible show for number four. Right. With Stansu. Okay. So maybe you can join with me as we open to the power of invocation, as we open to the power of the love within our own hearts. And as we call forth to the angels now, asking that this studio and your homes and wherever you are listening to this, that you be overlit now by the archangels and by all the legions of angels that work with each of the archangels. We call now to Archangel Uriel, who is in charge of all of our guardian angels. And we ask that tonight, that our guardian angels stand behind each one of us. Maybe you will feel this as just a warmth, as a sweetness. Maybe you won't really feel it. Maybe you can just know it somehow in your hearts. But we call forth to our guardian angels, that great shining one who has been with us through all of our lifetimes and ask for the presence to permeate this room, to, to permeate our hearts and to open us. And we ask for the protection now of Archangel Michael, too, to swirl through this room, the protection, and asking him to ignite our faith this night. And we also call forth to the Ascended Ones, the Ascended Masters from the Ascended Realms, asking that they somehow bring to us their radiance and bring to us their teachings so that we can aspire to become what we are truly here to become, and that, are, that is Christed beings living on the earth. And we call forth now to all those higher aspects of ourselves, the Christed self, the future self, the already ascended self, and that part of us that has never left source, asking that the blueprint, the divine blueprint of that part of ourselves come now and merge with the physical personality self that sits here so that we can become a whole being, utilizing all the aspects of our great selves so that we can see who and what we are. We ask somehow that our body deva stand with us also tonight so that we can come into radiance within our physical body. We ask for the remembrance, for the memories to come flooding in of our grander self. We ask for self-love this night. We ask to see ourselves reflected in the eyes of our brothers and sisters, knowing that we are children of the one God. And we ask to know somehow in this time that I and the Father are one, that I and the Mother are one, that we are the children, sons and daughters of the one. And we ask to know this, to be this, and to aspire and grow into our higher evolved selves with the help of the angels, with the help of the masters, knowing that actually we too are masters, asking that our self-mastery awaken now, calling forth for a great awakening within each of us, calling for an opening of the heart, calling for the calmness, the serenity, the love and the beauty and the creative expression, all all that lies within us and is sometimes dormant 
asking that our emotions come out and that we start to feel like never before the beauty that surrounds us and the beauty that is within us. And so maybe we can just tune in now to our hearts and to our bodies and to the energy field around where we are sitting that is our great energy field. Somehow just getting in touch with our greater selves sitting here asking to sit in our higher selves. As we send our light down into the earth connecting with mother, connecting all the way into the core of the earth. And we send our light up into the heavens, into our higher selves. And we send our light around us, connecting with the brotherhoods and sisterhoods of light so that we have a circle, connecting heart to heart with each other and soul to soul, connecting up and down and all around. Just go inside now, if you will, close your eyes with me and just connect now to the heart, asking that the mind follow the heart this night, asking for the open heart. Thank you. <laughs> it feels so much different in here now. It feels so much quieter. I was kind of hectic in the studio when we're setting up. And when I started, I said, let's open to the power of invocation. I just want to say that invoking, calling upon those great parts of ourselves and those great helpers and those who assist us in the higher realms absolutely changes the way we feel changes the way our world is. It's so necessary now. And we're actually living in what's called the seven, under the influence of the seventh ray, which is the ray of invocation, ascension, and transformation. So these are great times. <laughs> and I hope the hour has not even gone by. Yeah, the but show's I over. Feel... <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> it was a very nice show, and we'll be on tomorrow night. <laughs> No, so. that's not so, not so. We have a lot of show left. Coach, change your dial now. Let's open up to the music. Okay, so <laughs> now uh, we have uh, Tanya and Rob uh, in La Teche, and really, this is really some powerful music. It's it's real, really primal, so uh, if we're ready for uh, in La Teche. These instruments are like 40,000 or more years old. Yeah, they're, they're unbelievable. So when we're ready, Shape and create fear. 
Oh, thank you. That was beautiful. That was amazing. That was really, really primal. Amazing. Yeah. I really love that. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. So anyway, I'm sitting here. We are sitting here. Why do we say I'm sitting here? And this, we're all sitting here. <laughs> we're sitting here with Sue Halstenberg, and she is just an amazing angel artist among other kinds of artists just does a lot of different things and we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of her art tonight but um, you might be able to see him i don't know how but i mean some of her art is just all around us. Yeah. we're surrounded by halston birds but we'll be <laughs> zooming in we'll be zooming in on on uh, several of them later one thing i want to say to you before before i i get go too far is that i used to work in, in town in the psychic fair uh -huh. uh, doing angel angel writings and the angels would speak to me and I would write messages for people and I used to set my little table up and I did this week after week after week actually it was once a month, month after month after month and I had this picture of an angel in a blue dress and she had red hair and I picked it because I have red hair and um, I, I just liked the picture and and it was one of your pictures but I didn't know it it was it was the blue <laughs> angel great. and I have it on my little table every single every single month and then People would come over and they and they thought that some that I had sat for the picture. You know, they thought that some, and they would say, "Oh, oh a picture of you." Yeah. I, mean, I always said, "Oh no, no, no way." You know. And then after a while, I started saying yes because yeah, everybody was well, saying that. And um, actually, I was. I can see it. Sure. <laughs> but that was your picture, and I didn't even know you then. Actually, we saw you in a newspaper article. I think uh -huh. it was in the Ojai Valley Sun right, after that. Yeah. And, and then Alan, Alan actually, you sent Alan some pictures, and mm -hmm. there was that picture, and he said, this is that picture that you, <laughs> that you love so much. Well, what a coincidence. Yeah, it is. It is. So you've been painting, like, a long time and doing art and all that, huh? Yeah, well, I uh, went to art school, went to Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, and graduated, studied illustration, and went to work... Um, to the, for the department stores, the Broadway uh, Robinsons and the May Company, and I was drawing. I, I brought some of my. This is really. This is yeah, really this is a funny thing. This, this is, is an interesting. Is, yeah, well, this was it. You know, I don't know if this shows. This is what she did for seven years. Seven she was doing bra ads, and everybody said they looked like butterflies, and that stuff. Well, this <laughs> one layout artist came up to me, and she said, "You're." your bra drawings look like butterflies, and I just see them flying off the page. And I thought, whoa. And the Broadway actually <laughs> wanted, they wanted them flying out the store. Yeah, that, well, that was the that main was, thing. Right. You know, to, you know, moving, so. But um, as a child, you used to draw? Yeah, I was, um, I mean, in school, I, I did well. I was one of those real workaholic, all mm -hmm. A's type mm -hmm. kids, so I worried a lot. And when did yeah. you realize that you really had a talent? Well, I I did well. I mean, I got awards yeah. all the way along, and it was um, hard to get into art school. Mm -hmm. It was a competitive, real competitive, and another real workaholic thing. And then I continued into doing the advertising because they'd yeah. say, "Here, do it overnight," right. right? And I'd have to get it in the next day, and a lot of pressure. But I started to kind of burn out on. That Draws. pressure and just black and white. I wanted to work in color, right. and uh, I, I went to Arizona and took a class with George Carlson, who's a, a really good teacher, good sculptor, mm -hmm. and good with pastels. And I uh, went and did a painting that got a lot of awards. Actually, it was uh, oh, of my. This was the first pastel I did. Is of my um, mother right. in our. Yeah. This was my yard in San Gabriel, and it was called Waiting, and actually waiting for her reward, and she she passed away. That was the first one you she did. She passed after. away like right after. That. Really? Right so, after you did the painting? Yeah, wow. within a few months. So I'm glad, you know, right. I I did it. Mm, that was the, the first. And that was the first, first pastel one. you did. Yeah, first one I finished. I had started a right. few and thrown them away, but. That's pretty amazing for a first shot. Though. Yeah, I got first place. From a bra. Um, yeah. yeah, right from, from the bra. bras. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it got first place up at the um, one of the pastel societies, of the pastel society of the West Coast. It got first place genre at their show, and mm. I entered it in some others, and it did pretty well. Then, as part of being in the pastel societies, um, they had a pastel issue of American Artist, and they chose my piece for the cover. Wow. 
Oh, this is one show. The and big this one. is yeah. this is yeah. a yeah. better better one, yeah. copy of it. This is called Victorian. So people say, well, how do you know so much about lace? Well, and you did that with pastels. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know, the lace That's is so from beautiful. from drawing all the underwear for years. <laughs> <laughs> and the form, though, the light and the form, though, was from taking George Carlson's class. And, uh, but you, I mean, you just had a feel for it. I mean, I could study his class from now till doomsday <laughs> and do bras, but it still would come out. Well, mileage helps, though. Yeah, I had right. a lot of mileage right. doing that under right. the pressure of doing all that advertising right. art. So See, every little thing that you learn comes in handy sometimes. Yeah, it's really yeah a absolutely. good lesson about yeah, it. Yeah, be patient. It, keep it added up. But. That is so beautiful. I mean, those are the kind of clothes that I like to wear. I, I, That's really surprising. She usually wears I usually outfits wear like that. Victorian clothes. Well, I mean, she's tremendously contemporary tonight. I don't know if everybody has <laughs> seen it. Actually, I'm wearing a fairy dress. So well, I'm not compared to the rest that. of your stuff, this is not. A, <laughs> Oh. Everything's relative, as we talked earlier. Well, it, it is funny though. With this painting, I learned that people see artwork. At, uh, everybody saw it as a, a painting of a, of a Victorian. Everybody sees it right. as a Victorian lady. I saw it as an artist, as light hitting a form. Uh -huh. uh, That's right. what I found uh -huh. interesting. Right. So the galleries would say. Oh, this is great. Do another one like this. So I'd do another light hitting the form, and they'd say, No, 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 no. no. We, we want a this, a Victorian lady. lady. Right. They right. didn't really care about the light. Right. So <laughs> I got kind of in a, a long rut of doing Victorian ladies over uh -huh. and over. So, and then out of that kind of painting myself in a corner mm -hmm. came the more metaphysical pieces. How did that come about? And where did the angels come in? Well, I was, I, I was actually in, in the hospital and depressed mm -hmm. and... Um, because you're... Uh, well, I, because yeah, you're well, painting. part of it, mm -hmm. part right. of it that, because I wasn't expressing right. who I really right. was, right. Right. you know. So, the, like you said, the blue angel, it was as if she came in into me almost and said, we're here, we're going to protect you, make sure you don't hurt yourself. Mm. And so, so you, when I got out and did I Did you have a vision of that? Did it you... was, yeah, it was almost like looking in the mirror and seeing this other being mm -hmm. kind of, kind of there. So you knew what you were going to paint even before you started? Yeah, so when I, when I wasn't sedated anymore, then that's the first thing I right. painted was right. the Blue Angel. That was wow. the first piece I did. Oh. That's amazing. And I, I, I love that one. I love, it's one of my <laughs> favorites. Well, she's kind of glamorous, you know. I've had people criticize it. They say, oh, she's too pretty. Why don't you paint someone who's just regular? Right. But uh, I get, maybe it's from the advertising, doing pretty faces all the mm -hmm. time. I, I enjoy doing a real pretty face, and I do in, enjoy doing portraits, too, yeah. where it looks like a specific person. So there's beauty in both. Right. I'm yeah, but glad you've that moved she was on there to, to help you and to yeah, you know, assist yeah. you. Yeah, you've done, I mean, I, we did the flyer that we put out all around town this week to advertise the show. We did, I think, the cat picture, is that? Oh, the, the yin-yang yeah, kitty. Yeah, is that the yin-yang yin yang yang. kitty? Do we have that one here? It's over here. All right, well, we'll get it. <laughs> they'll, they'll bring it up. Yeah, why don't you tell us a little about that one? Is that pretty recent? Yeah, that's the newest one. And that's the I'm, latest one. I'm just having a We green. set all this stuff to go in chronological order, and then we get on the set, <laughs> well, and it's like, boom, bang. Yeah, that's like <laughs> chronological yeah, right. order, the last one right, I did. Right, right. Um, yeah, I'm having uh, cards made of him right now. Oh, yeah? Here in Santa Barbara. And so you have a whole line of cards with a lot of these images. And yeah, all. most of them are, are cards, and uh, it's a good way to get them out to the public. Uh -huh. I enjoy it knowing that a lot of people can enjoy them. And, 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 and uh, the next one, the... Uh, oh, you're on the mermaids. The mermaid yeah, one. well, the mermaids are... Uh, it's funny because I do the paintings and I analyze them later. So I've been trying to do research. Uh -huh. Why did I do these three um, mermaids and, and what does it mean, right. you know? And uh, they're kind of half human so they're half in this world, but mm -hmm. they're half in another, another realm. Right. So it's like kind of yeah, half it's like we are half spiritual and half human, and they're calling. And there's the kitty. There's the kitty coming on. Kitty. Um, yeah, he. I, love I had someone. I, love that cat. I had someone look at this and 
and as she was talking to me, she she said, "Oh, he has a yin yang face." She right. said, "I love the cat." Right, isn't that amazing? And uh, you, had someone asked me if my cat has a face like that. Uh, I said, I, I have one now that has a face like that. <laughs> yeah. right. You painted Since it, I didn't painted you? It, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's but, the one uh, we used for the flyer. We thought yeah, it was so extraordinary. He's a real balanced right. and a very content and has his good like, goldfish and his uh, crystal ball. <laughs> or is he going to play with that? I don't know. He might play with the ball or he might uh, right. gaze, you know, gaze into it. So, so like, do you still get like almost whole images that, I mean, I, I, we've had a lot of artists on the show and some, you know, get a feel for like one thing and then move to do the rest. Some get almost like the whole thing or... Well, it varies. Um, a lot of times things happen as I'm working, like uh, the, with the mermaids, the shells will happen, you know, that mm -hmm. they're playing something with the... Uh, you know, all all of them, uh, different things happen. Uh, I, the lady with the sword, didn't, I could talk about what happened with. Why don't you talk about? Okay, the, I'll yeah, talk yeah, about Merlin. Merlin. Yeah, they'll, okay, yeah, that's yeah. an amazing um, one. Merlin starts out where he's in this realm uh -huh. of Earth, and through his um, meditating or reflection here. Uh, that's down below, you start to see all the, the um, cosmos. Yeah, so the, oh, so a lot of people... So you have a lot of the bridging heaven and yes, earth feeling. Yes, that's, that's what this, this piece is right. about. Um, <laughs> a lot of people want it to go the other way. They you know, want to put it with the exciting stuff happening up on top. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's how I set it yeah, up. Yeah, that's nice. right. When you set it up, you kind of set it up upside down, uh, which Being is true. I mean, an odd person myself. It all reflects back and right, forth and right. gets all mixed up. Right. right. So, but uh, to, to my way of thinking, it kind of starts out with uh, the uh, things happening on Earth. And then I mean, you had the moon at the. Oh, I yeah, he had it water, I had the moon in the water, I had the stars in the sky. <laughs> that sounds like a song you yeah, no, last time, last, last season I sang it, I broke three cameras, and people know it was a very bad scene. But, so I'm not going to do it again. But, uh, so you really like blue, don't you? <laughs> it's like I the blue angel, you really blue. so much blue in your work. The, the blue shine. Oh, it's too, heavenly. Yeah. That's fine. That's beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. Oh, here's. Why don't you talk about this one? Okay. Oh, uh, and now this one was kind of a transition piece, so you can see she's still wearing a Victorian dress, uh, and she has lace wings that match her Victorian dress. And she's. Uh, Nobody can do lace like you can do. Lace. Yeah. But That's I was exciting. coming out of a, a period where where she's. Um, kneeling there praying with a candle so it was really for my m own emotional healing uh -huh. this piece so just this piece was like just turning it over to the angels oh, saying you know whatever angel prayer because i don't have one <laughs> the, the title is angel prayer i mean explain the difference between the different mediums it would seem that uh pastels it would be hard to get that kind of definition just the nature of the instrument, but is that, it obviously is isn't the pastels? case. These are pastels yeah, that's originally. that's a, a copy. Um, right, but, but it yeah, was originally. originally it, it's done with a charcoal drawing underneath to set the values, if you mm. want to get into right. that kind of artist talk, setting the value pattern. And then the pastels are layered on that's top. That's the way Arthur does it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So you can really get a, a lot of detail letting the, um, pencil detail show through. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. So then you're like layering it kind yeah. of with the pencil showing through. So there is a, through, a layer of color. And I start with gray paper too. Uh -huh. Or blue, like you were mentioning. Yeah, I went through a blue. Wearing blue. Yeah, I went through a blue period there. Like Picasso. <laughs> yeah. At the Prado. I w yeah. Oh, wonderful. So do you call on the angels before you work? I, mean, have you, do you work I have to get, with them? I have to get in a meditative state to mm -hmm. work. I have to get kind of isolated. Have to get real quiet right. and let you know let it come through. Mm -hmm. So yeah, right. asking for help always helps. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So you just try to get really quiet and clear, and then let the image kind of mm -hmm. work through. Yeah. Um, definitely works. This piece here, I don't know if you can get to it. Um, part of creation. Oh, yeah. Now that one, the original was an acrylic. Uh huh. A little bit, a oh, little uh, bit different medium. I was waiting for my model to show up, and she didn't show up. So I decided just to do it without her, right. which was a big jump for me because right. I always yeah. been real dependent on having models right. in front mm -hmm. of me. Um, so she was well, pretty much huh? out of my head, uh -huh. and uh, really the, you know, creating our own universe is kind of the. Right. And this one and it's through her heart. And uh, tell the story about oh, yeah, the this, eyes. This one, well, the eyes, yeah. I it was hanging at a store in Arcadia and the owner called up and said, Hey, guess what? The eyes open when you get across the room and I said, Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> so I went over and uh, yeah, they had noticed that once you get about twenty feet away mm -hmm. that it looks like the eyes open. So I didn't plan it, but it seems to be there. So wow. that's kind of neat. Yeah. So it, it works if you get the right, right distance with the prints. Should we put the camera on it and like? Well, you have to pull it. back a little <laughs> bit. You have to open her eyes. <laughs> you have to yeah. You Live have to, on TV. You have to pull back a little bit. Yeah. You know, you can't be too close to it's it. It's pretty amazing. You should you shouldn't even be surprised about magic anymore. I know. All the magical paintings that you put out. Do you get a lot of like people calling you or, or you know responding and like just the you know the power of it and all? I get um, the most calls I get is the the one we haven't shown yet. The, there's a little girl in the Victorian dress uh -huh. who's grown wings. Wings, right? And I get calls from all over the country. Everybody thinks that she looks like somebody they know. Somebody, mm -hmm. right? Or they look like uh, they they did when they were a child. Uh -huh. or, and mm -hmm. I hear that with um, you know, almost everybody who, who I hear from all the stores who carry it, and uh -huh. it's uh, people I think read into it. Yeah, it's like the inner child coming out. You know, <laughs> absolutely. So, so you have a studio in Ohio. Yeah, and you living in Ohio. Spend your days. Did you move creating. up from LA? Were you in LA I when you lived, were doing? Yeah, I lived in San Gabriel kind of the middle of the smog, and really, Ohio is a much better vibration for me. I lived in Ohio, I told you, for yeah. a year and a half. I really liked it a lot. It's a little yeah. quiet, I mean, you know, it's to say you can watch the hubcaps roast there and go your base. <laughs> yeah, well, I Unless don't need that kind that. of isolation. I was writing at the time when it was very quiet, yeah. Yeah, I need that, and it's, it's been really good, good for me. How long have you been there? Two years now. Do you have any um, plans to do more animal paintings? Well, I started one of my Dalmatian that had passed away, and so his spots have become hearts, of course, oh, and so it's, uh, yeah, in the works. I, I, the uh, stores had told me if I was going to do a cat, I might have to do a dog, you know, give people time. <laughs> right, Absolutely. Right. For, yeah, so the dog the and the dogs. kitty were friends, were they? <laughs> Why don't you talk about the, the painting with the sword? I think we're going to show that okay. at this point. Yeah, well, Lady of the Lake. Um, oh, people who, are, who do tarot cards like this one a lot because they feel this she's is one of my lot, favorites. Yeah, a lot like a queen of uh, swords. Uh huh. But uh, the the unusual thing when I painted this one, if you can go on down to the bottom, is the sword reflected. A heart, and her the pattern in her dress is little swords, as you can see in the lace. Uh -huh. And and as I was drawing it, as it got down into the water, there they they reflected as hearts. And uh, so, kind of in the emotion of the water, the uh, intellect of the air and the sword, you know, symbology got. Uh, Changed, mm -hmm. transformed into the emotional. Wow. So it's kind of kind of a surprise when you you know mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a surprise. I, I 
I, I didn't plan it. And That's one of my favorites. I really like that one a lot. I, I, I like that there's something about that one that just really knocks me she out. She's real direct, too. Yes, right A on. lot of the, the Victorian ladies were kind of hiding behind the hats, mm -hmm. and um, she's staring out, which is a little bit different. Okay, why don't you talk about the one with the horn? That's a, yeah. a recent piece, and that's acrylic, which is uh, a little bit different again. It's uh, not so much to do with form from an artist's point of view, but uh, more the, the symbol of the angel being the tree, kind of coming through uh -huh. the, the nature uh, element of it, where she's one with the tree, or the tree is her, she, you know, and she's calling, the hearts are coming out of the horn, and so she's uh, calling to get get back a, attuned uh -huh. to uh, that uh, nature. So again, like the, the bridging of... Yeah, the bridging of heaven and earth. <laughs> you know, there, I mean, there, there is an angel, you know, in every home and in every tree and every... Everything. Th everything, every, every hospital rock. has an angel. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people don't know this, but I mean, maybe we can't see them. But if you if you just ask to be become more aware of them, you'll feel something. You know, I go outside at night, and you know, that looks like some of the things I see out there when I, when I actually want to look. When I go, I want to see what's out here, and I see the light within the tree. Right, right. It's so amazing. So do we? We want to see this see one, one more in front? before we. Oh, yeah, let's okay. see that Solar one. eclipse. This is a more recent one too, isn't it? The uh, solar eclipse. Yeah, one? it's uh, maybe a couple of years old, but it's kind of uh, like the the yin yang cat. It's kind of dealing with uh, the balance, and of course the sun and the moon eclipsing. Uh -huh. And he's spinning one way, and yin, and he, she's spinning yang, or whichever is which. Uh huh. And uh, you know it. In a way, it's a uh, coming together the male and female. You know, it could be a romantic piece, or it could right. be this pieces of yourself right. um, in balance. Uh huh. All right. I think maybe why don't we try to get? Uh, are we prepared to do the next song? Are you guys prepared in Lakesh? All right. So maybe when we're ready, we'll do that, and then we'll set up some more pictures for you. And we're really looking forward to that. So, and there are a lot more here, so we'll get to see a lot more. But uh, do they have a concert um, coming up? I think there is. Uh, Inla Kesh has a concert in LA tomorrow. And if anybody wants information on cards of uh, of Susan or uh, of uh, concerts or, or tapes and CD. CDs of Inla Kesh. Please call the number uh, you could reach us at is uh, 805 687 2053, and we'll pass the information on to you about how to get cards and how to get uh, the CDs. And so, uh, you know, we'd be happy to do that because I'm sure that a lot of people would like uh, to see some of the cards and get some of the cards and, and, and get some of the CDs. So, I guess when we're ready, uh, let's hear another song. Okay, so take her away.
I was wondering, could you talk, just tell us where your concert is tomorrow night? Well, actually, um, you're giving out the wrong information. It is, we don't have a concert. We're doing um, uh, at the Whole Life Expo, which is in town right now. Uh, we're selling digital dues and oh. CDs and cassettes, but we're not actually having a concert. So, okay. if you Many concerts. take us around the corner, we'll definitely play you a song. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you that those instruments are so amazing. They're they're just amazing. Could you could you just quickly say what they're called what they're called sure, you know called for a, people? It's called a didgeridoo. That's the common name for it. And it's got many many different Aboriginal names. Uh, one of them is called idaki. Um, if you're up in Arnhem Land, it's called uh, bamboo ilambimbi mambo. And uh, didgeridoo is a name actually that came in 1932 from a uh, ethnomusicologist and it came from <laughs> sounds like it <laughs> it's a it's a it's used for ceremonies uh, dreamtime ceremonies it's also used for storytelling and it's also a way that uh, in the song and dance that the older people can pass on information on the land like to kids like how to find water how to find food so they learn these songs and then when they're older and they go on walks through the bush they can be by themselves and all they have to do is sing the songs and they know where the water hole is in relation to it. That's amazing. Well, we'll have to have you back to actually talk, sort of educate us about all of that because it's, it's amazing and it doesn't look easy either. It looks like you guys are really working. Absolutely. It's kind of, uh, it's easier than you think and it's harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's always the way things are. Okay, thank you so, yeah, so, so much. much. Yeah, really. That was incredible. So now we're back and we have some more of Susan's pictures, so that should be exciting. So uh, maybe we'll get, the next one we'll get is uh, the one that we talked about earlier, the little girl that everyone oh, recognizes yeah. with yeah. the angels. That's this one over here. Yeah, why don't you just talk about the it? Yes, yeah, so this is the one. Well, she actually was a portrait. Um, I did a sketch and I had her, um, showed it to a lot of people and, and they liked it, but it looked like somebody else's kid. Right. And there wasn't really much interest in it. And uh, I kept walking by thinking, gosh, she looks like a little angel. She's so sweet. She has such a sweet look on her face. Right. So one day I just added wings to her. 
And then that was all the of whole a sudden, thing. my gosh, everybody loves her. Everybody can relate to her now. Isn't that oh, amazing? she's not, you know, specific right. little girl yet. Right. And she, people see her, uh, read into it, and they see a specific. Oh, my niece! She's right. just like my niece, just like my daughter, and it's really amazing. I think it's the sweetness, though, uh -huh, that's coming through. That kind of, they right. they see um, as yeah, someone who they love, one of their loved ones. And all these are available as cards, right? Mm -hmm. and, and are they around in all the stores and everything? Uh, yeah, Paradise Found here in Santa Barbara. I don't think you're supposed to mention oh, names, sorry. but yeah, well, people <laughs> sure are called, but I mean, they're in almost all the like those kind of stores. The yeah. uh, like new age kind of stores. Right. Do people Paris. get prints as well, like and posters? posters and yeah, yeah. They're available laser, too. Laser uh, mm. prints are matter. Yeah, just call, call us. Call yeah. that number if you're interested. Yeah, six eight seven two zero five three. Gorgeous. Okay, now the one above that, the more in blue is Wistie yeah, said. Yeah, another blue piece, uh, Crystal Dream. Uh, she started as a, a piece. Uh, a friend of mine was having a birthday, and she uh -huh. was in Virgo. Uh huh. And she this piece started with her eyes open, and she was going to be kind of a Virgo bride piece, and. As uh, as I went along drawing it, uh, she ended up inside of a crystal. And after she ended up inside of a crystal, she got an aura going around, uh -huh. uh, and her her eyes shut. As you know, it, right. her eyes need to be closed. So she's kind of in that. What is the name of that one? Crystal Dream. Crystal Dream. That's she's fantastic. kind of in a suspended animation state right. or meditative state yeah. and uh, her heart uh, has uh, some detail around it so do you have shows around with the originals and all have you done that yet? yeah, yeah. i have and the, would you like would you to, like to hear the it? stores no <laughs> i'm not supposed to mention the stores but yeah and sure. galleries in different yeah. places mm -hmm. so where do you see yourself going do you see yourself you know, like doing more of the like inspirational yeah. books or anything coming out. Um, no books right now, but the more greeting cards. I'm mm -hmm. doing ten new ones, and I intend to do um, ten more, and uh, really get them out that way. I've, I've had uh, pretty good success with the greeting cards. So they're around, they're in New Zealand and in really? Australia and Canada mm -hmm. and across the US. So um, it's fun to expand that way. And everybody can afford them too. So. Right, yeah, right. Do you have any more about that? Well, the butterfly lady was back there, and I, uh, Well, maybe she? what we can do is uh, <laughs> maybe set some up over here. Uh, and then we'll talk lady. about it. So, you know, actually I wanted to say to everybody that, uh, you know, we're really excited. The uh, the show's on in New York now. Uh, not this particular show. This show will be on like in two and three months in New York, but it's on in New York. It's on in uh, Washington, D.C. It's going to be, it's on in uh, uh, Camarillo, Thousand Oaks. Right? Now, Florida, actually, we couldn't work it out. My parents who live in Florida were trying to get it on, but they couldn't get it on because that particular public access station doesn't do shows like this. Okay. They don't have that. Right. But it's on a Thousand Oaks and Camarillo, and I guess a lot of people who are watching oh, the show, oh, oh hi, it's yeah. on the oh hi yeah. channel, yeah. channel eight on Monday nights. Every Monday night it, are one of the shows, and they're, I think doing them pretty much in order. So this is show twenty one. Mm -hmm. So I think they're showing the shows between seven and ten, which you know some of the really uh, those were the beginning shows where we had a lot of interesting stuff on those so and we're getting a lot of uh response from people right. calling from all yeah. over it's actually but it's last just, month they were on how many places like 20 hours or something last month they were on uh i think over 20 hours in different places yeah. so, so i mean this message and this and all these, over the yeah place. so we're really excited about that and actually if anybody's seeing it in places and they want to get on actually the camera person who people have been watching the show pretty consistently uh, uh richard Lindsay, joe left uh, he uh, is trying to get on up in Seattle, Washington. Right. So, yeah. you know, we're really excited about that. And uh, 
So uh, I love to bring all this beautiful inspiration to as many people as possible. I mean, it's one of the reasons for the show is just to to really open the heart, you know, of, of yeah, everybody yeah. And, and bridge heaven and earth within us. And, and these kinds of like music or, or art. Well, that's the way. way. It does yeah. it. It does it. You know, I it just says a thousand words. I listen to music when I'm working. Mm -hmm. it really helps. What do you listen to? Oh, mm -hmm. everything really. I mean, I, when I first started doing the New Age stuff, I was listening to a Hearts of Space kind of uh, sampler. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I was getting like right. everybody all, all at once, right. right. you know, right. I was listening to Anya kind of mm -hmm. helped, helped uh, right. my opening along. So. Well, maybe you'll be listening to didgeridoo music yeah. in honor of yeah. tonight. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, incredible. So they have the Yeah, why don't you talk about lady, this yeah. from the butterfly lady? This could oh. be, is this our first nude? <laughs> I have, uh, well, let's see. Was oh my god, I don't know. She probably was the first of the uh, out of art school. Of course, in art school, you do nudes right. until you're sick of them, you know. But um, she is kind of coming out, you know. Uh huh, she's, she's a uh, butterfly. Right. Got uh, Here it comes, yeah. Held, uh, Coming out of almost a phoenix coming up out of the ashes, you know. Uh -huh. She's uh, got that the energy from the fire, uh -huh. fire of the flame, and the um, candle color is a very Scorpio or uh, transformation kind of color, and her um, whole you know hair is flying up like the flame, and um, she's really. Free, you know, really been right. been uh, exploding out. That's powerful. Oh, okay. And it's blue too. And there is it's a lot blue. of blue. In it. It's a uh, uh, yeah, blue is coming through. You probably kind of work with Archangel Michael. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was done on blue paper, and so the um, oranges are really popping off of the page with that blue underneath. And uh, I had people call who had who had bought the greeting cards and said, "Oh, they really felt the Christ energy." No mm -hmm. kidding. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it, I thought, "Well, she's kind of in that position. If you take her wings away, she's kind yeah. of like she's in the Garden of Eden." Well, you know, well, I that's I when you said that. <laughs> oh, wow. When you said that, the first thing I thought of was, was the flowers. emergence, like like where. You know what I mean? Like our lower self or our personality self is like the caterpillar and the Christ self right. is, the, is the butterfly. But it's it's the funny because I showed her the whole life show and the guys with the like, devils around their necks came around and that was their favorite piece too. So, huh. you know, wow. you got, yeah, you got everything, <laughs> really. everything, you know. So again, people read into it. And uh, so that's great because I want uh, whatever you see in it right. to, right. to happen. You know? Right. As long as it's touching, it's touching. Yeah, as long as you see something yeah. in it, you know. Right, and then I think attractive. we have set up this other one. The uh, oh, one of the Victorian ladies. Yeah, this is. Look at that! Wow, look at the detail. I think we're, we're starting out in the close-ups. So you can really see the detail. It's really amazing. This was a piece I, I painted in 1990, and it was kind of for me a dream piece of where I wanted to go and where what I wanted uh -huh. things to be like. I wasn't happy, and for me it right. was like just trying to put into this painting, um, you know, my, my dreams, the kind of the passion for red roses. Uh -huh. um, I hung it when I moved to Ojai. I hung it up on the wall, and I I looked out the window, and there were the same mountains. Not of my window, right, yeah. Right, right. And recently, uh, I had taken it out of the frame. I started adding a rainbow. Uh -huh. And yesterday, I looked out the window, and there was a rainbow starting from there. So oh, I thought, wow. well, I guess I am in the right place. Wow. Absolutely. And plus, you're getting psychic to meet in the future. <laughs> it's like one of those movies where someone paints a picture and it happens. Changing the whole atmosphere around you. Right. That's pretty yeah, incredible. That's so wonderful. That is so beautiful. Wow. So, yeah, it's... But you, but you don't really do the Victorian pictures as much as you did before. Oh, they're, not at all, yeah. They're basically like your uh, blue period or, yeah. or your back period well, or something. Well, it, it just got, got to, not that I don't still enjoy the Victorian right. lace and the detail and the beauty of it, but for me it was more of a security um, phase where I was attracted to antiques and old things and kind of the security mm -hmm. of it, but really I needed to be more like the 
butterfly lady, you know, right, just come out. And, with all the flies. Yeah, it's just so come out. out you know? It's amazing that our hour is like flying by and we're just about out of here. I just wanted to thank you oh, for well, coming and geez, sharing all this. I you. want you to know that you bear an angel's wing and you, you really have that glow and that beauty and that, that just purity that I see in your pictures. It's like, you know, well, look at you. I can see the shiny. blue angel here. <laughs> so I, I just really, it was beautiful having you here. Oh, thank you. And tonight was great with the musicians, all that incredible, wondrous sound and wondrous art. Yeah, it was, it was sublime in a way. It was really like, <laughs> really? you know, we all had the, uh, you know, the power of the instruments and the, uh, and the beauty of all these pictures. Yeah. It was just. I want to so, thank everybody for watching. Yeah, and next week, isn't Julianne coming on next week? Julianne Everett's going to be back. She's an incredible Ascension teacher. She's just an She was on last, last season. Yeah, she ended up doing a workshop here, and a lot of people came and, and asked for her to come back. And she's going to come with a musician from Mount Shasta that's also just amazing. He has a, a huge heart. And, and another musician come, another singer, so it's going to be a big show. God bless all of you. Be well, be happy, and be in your hearts. Good night.